guys my name is teacher michelle and welcome to art so this week for session we learned a lot about our friend that lives in the ocean the whale which is a very very big animal right friends but today for art we're going to be drawing a different animal can my friends see this friend right here this is a jellyfish so this friend is much much smaller than a whale which is going to make it perfect for our art activity today so friends all you're going to need for this activity is some paper you can use any color i have purple you can use a brush like this this is like a sponge brush or you can use a regular brush and then you are also going to need some paint i have some glitter glue paint right here and then i have some red paint right here you can use any color paint you want um you can even just use colored pencils crayons markers if you don't have paint or if you don't want to use paint and this is what we're going to be drawing today and i'm going to show you guys how i drew this little jellyfish and you can see i put some glitter on him because i tried to make it look like he glowed in the dark kind of like this jellyfish right here but also if you wanted to draw a jellyfish and make it a little different to where it looks like it's moving kind of like this you can do this so if i shake my paper it kind of looks like the tentacles are moving right friends and so if you wanted to do it like this you would also just need some tissue paper or i have some streamer right here and then i'm going to show you later on after we have drawn the base of our jellyfish how you would add it on and how you would cut it out as well so let's get started all right friends so the first thing we are going to do is draw the head of our jellyfish so a jellyfish the head is kind of like a dome which is like a circular shape so we're going to start by drawing kind of a half circle like that and you can make your jellyfish as big as you want or as small as you want and if you wanted to make it smaller you could even draw a bunch of little jellyfish friends so just like that friends i'm going to add a little bit more paint so you can see it a little better but i'm just still going like this around in like a half circle okay and once you feel satisfied with that top of the jellyfish we are going to add some squiggly lines to the bottom. So you're not going to draw a full circle. We're going to cut it off right here. But we're going to, instead of drawing a straight line, we're just going to go like this and draw some squiggly lines. Just like that. So once you have drawn your squiggly lines, I'm going to go back over it a little bit. It's just like an up and down motion, just like this. Like you can see me doing my brush. And so now you can either fill it in or move on to the tentacles. Just because I'm showing you guys how to do this, I'm gonna do move on to the tentacles, which are those long stringy things that hang down from the jellyfish. Like you can see right here in the background. So you can draw them from anywhere. You can draw as many as you want. You can draw as little as you want. Like you can see this jellyfish back here. It looks like he only has a few compared to this jellyfish right here that has a lot. So I'm just going to draw a few. And then you're just going to draw down like that. You're going to do the same squiggly motion. They don't all have to be the same size. You can draw some shorter. It's all up to you, my friends. But you see how I'm doing my brush? I'm just kind of going back and forth. Kind of like an S. Like how my friends would draw an S like this. We could start from the top and we go down and we go like that. That's kind of what we're doing because I'm going like this and back and forth and back and forth. Alrighty. This is my jellyfish that we just made together. And so now at this point, if you wanted to add some glitter to make it shiny, you could totally do that. You might want to wait for it to dry a little bit so that way your glitter doesn't get all mixed up with the paint, but it's also totally up to you. And also if you're drawing this with a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil, anything that's not paint that doesn't need to dry, you could totally just put glitter right on top whenever you feel like it. So now I'm going to add some of these streamers so I can show you guys how to do that if you wanted to so my friends see where the tentacles are that's where we're going to add our streamers to make them moving tentacles but first i'm going to show you guys how to cut them 
into strips and my friends are going to want a guardian to help them with this because we're going to be using scissors so you're going to want guardian supervision for this part all right once my friends have their scissors you're going to decide how long you want your tentacles to be um i think that's good i don't want them too long so i'm going to just cut right across and i know what you're thinking teacher michelle that is that's just one tentacle and it's really big this probably would work if you wanted your jellyfish to have really big tentacles but my jellyfish is kind of small so what we're going to do is fold it in half just like that and then we're going to cut it like this up and down so vertically that way we can get some small strips Okay, friends, so once you have cut your strips, they're going to look a little like this. And as you can see, they look a little bit like these tentacles, kind of like how they're moving different ways. So at this point, you could use glue and glue these on, or you could do what I like to do, which is my paint is, my friends can see my paint is still wet, right? Because it's like shining in the light. So I'm just going to take the tentacle that I want. And I'm just going to stick it onto the wet paint and just push it in just like that. I'm using the tip of my nail just because I don't want to get my finger too dirty, but you can do it however you like. And my friends can see my tentacles a little long, so maybe when it dries, I can cut it a little bit. But for now, this is what I'm going to do. And I think I only want to put these two on there just because. But like I said earlier, friends, you can add as many tentacles as you want, or you can add as few tentacles as you want. It is all up to you. And yeah, I'm actually going to cut it right now, friends, just to see what it looks like. So I'm going to cut it right there and right there. Wow. Check it out, friends. Oh my gosh. It's a little tentacle jellyfish. So if you wanted them to move a little more, you might want to use tissue paper. Um, streamer paper does work a little bit, but it's not really as crinkly as the tissue paper I used. Um, but again, it's all preference. If you guys want to use streamer paper or tissue paper, it is all up to you. And remember, you can always use this link right here on our website to upload pictures of any activities you do. All of your Jumpstart teachers would love to see it. And yeah, I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.